everyone, and welcome back to our third episode of Highlights from the Permanent Collection. My name is Mac, and today we'll be talking about artist Denny Fraze, his collage work from our Permanent Collection, and I'll also be leading us in a collage demo afterwards. Denny Fraze was born in 1940 in Weatherford, Texas, and around the fourth grade, his mother discovered his artistic abilities and enrolled him in private art lessons. He received his BFA from the University of Texas and his MFA from the University of Colorado. In 1965, he began working at Amarillo College in Amarillo, Texas, and after only two years, he became the chairman of the art department. Throughout his career, he is one of three founding members of the Texas Association of Schools of Art, and their main goal is to standardize the art curriculum in Texas universities and colleges. He was a two-term president of this association, but his two terms were over 20 years apart. His studio work is focused mainly on collage, but he has had over 170 exhibitions throughout the United States. The district acquired this piece titled Death of Marat in 1984. We're going to discuss two aspects of the composition. The first one being the figure in the foreground that is from a painting done in 1793 by the French painter Jacques-Louis David. He is considered one of the most famous of the French Revolution and did this painting as a memorial to his friend Jean Marat, who had died just a few days before. It is sometimes referred to as the Pieta of the Revolution. We're now going to discuss the two figures in the background that are from an altarpiece by Andrea del Sarto, done in 1517, titled Madonna of the Harpies. The two figures are actually St. John and St. Francis, and in the original piece, they bear witness to the Virgin Mary holding Jesus on a pedestal. In this piece, I like to think that the Virgin Mary is replaced by Jean Marat, and they are bearing witness to his death. Okay, so we're going to begin with our collage demo. And a collage is really whatever you want it to be. It can be a collaboration or a mixture of any type of scrap paper or photos, maybe some memorabilia or fabric that you have. Today I have acquired some magazines and I've actually gone through already and pulled out the things that I think I might want to use for my collage, but I really have no idea. I'm just going to go with the flow and that's really what I encourage you to do when working on your collage. It also depends what kind of materials you're wanting to work with. So if you're working with cardboard, you might want to use a more heavy duty adhesive, but today I'm using a Elmer's craft, paper craft glue gel, um, but you can obviously use tape or whatever you need. And I have scissors and an X-Acto knife, just in case I have something that I want to be more precise on or it's smaller. I also have um, a more heavy duty piece of paper. This is watercolor paper, but you could literally use a cardboard box and just cut it off to use it as a layer in the back and then cover it with photos or whatever it is that you're using. Also collages can be a mixed media. So I also have some rhinestones and uh, different stamps and washi tapes and markers that I own. So let's get started. When it comes to collages, you really can take any kind of approach to this that you want. Uh, you could just take a bunch of different photos of dogs and cut them out and make them into a composition. Or you can kind of try to create a message or a scene for it. Um, like an example would be, I could maybe take this photo and just put stars over her eyes or maybe if I found some flowers I could put them in between her arms and that would be considered a collage but I've cut out some things I have a different I have a few different figures and then I decided to cut out a bunch of different arms so we're gonna see what we can do with that 
Okay, so I had this um, takeout menu at my house, but I thought this was a really nice color and texture. So I'm gonna glue it down, um, sort of create a border for my collage. Another tip, whenever you're cutting your paper or whatever it is you may be, if you're not super comfortable with an X-Acto knife, uh, scissors are actually easier for me and some people suggest moving the scissors around curves, but I do a little bit of both. Um, just making sure to keep like a light, easy hand and you could also, I mean, if you make a mistake, just go with the flow. That's kind of what collages are all about for me at least and it can be a real nice stress reliever and you might end up making something that you really enjoy. So this is a moment that I know I'm not gonna be able to cut, off, cut that and make it look good. So I'm just gonna take my own free will and cut that to make it a little bit easier for me. That is the really awesome thing about collaging. Like I said, it can be whatever you want. So this is a really fun thing to do with anything that you have laying around your house. I considered maybe using some um, leftover packages from like food that I had. So that would be cool if anyone wants to take that idea. So um, if any of y'all are interested in collage, um, I suggest checking out the artist. Her name is Julia Walk. Uh, I think that's how you say it, W-A-L-C-K. She's a graphic design artist and I really am inspired by her work. She usually, um, she does her collages on her computer. So she, um, finds vintage photos or things from magazines and she edits them on a digital device but her work is really interesting and like I said she uses digital I mean she uses vintage uh, pieces of photography and it's really interesting I suggest checking her out so now that I've kind of had my idea, I'm still gonna add some more things, but this, I think this is the general layout that I'm going for. So I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing from the bottom up. If you're like me and um, you didn't have any glue sticks at your house, you're using liquid glue, I'm just rubbing my finger closer to the edge so that I don't have any of the corners come up. I'm probably, I have a laminator at home, so I honestly will probably laminate this when I get home.
So this is my finished product. Um, like I said, this can really be anything that you want. You can set a scene, it can be something more simple, like Denny Phrases collage, or if you're like me and you're a maximalist, you go big or go home. So if you do end up making a collage, um, we'd love to see it, and you can tag us at Dishman Art Museum on Instagram. And I hope that you have a great rest of your weekend.